The theme tune to a TV series is essential to help set the mood and pace for the production it's supporting, since it has to maintain the attention of its audience before it has the opportunity to retune to an alternative channel, thus increasing the chance of the viewer watching the entire episode. It's therefore not surprising that it took no less than three attempts to settle on a main theme for The Prisoner, and an equal number of composers to produce the necessary tailor-made incidental music that accompanied much of the action. The initial and most obvious choice for theme composer was Edwin Astley, who'd worked on all the Danger Man episodes, both the half and the one hour series. However, a prior commitment prevented him joining the long list of crew members who made the transfer from Danger Man to the Prisoner. And as a result, Robert Farnan was commissioned to produce a main theme and the incidental music for the first episode, Arrival. Well, it was my agent who was approached firstly, asking him to recommend a composer for the series. And he was my agent and also the public music publisher, who, 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 you probably know the name Chapel Music, and uh, so I went up to visit uh, Patrick McGowan at Elstree and just to discuss terms and whatnot. My agent was with me. And then I was given a script to look at. And I studied that and then saw him, I think, for a second occasion to discuss what music he needed for this pilot film, the first, first episode. To supervise the dubbing and mixing of these tracks, a music editor was required. Uh, well, I was working on Million Years B.C. with uh, Alfie Cox as a sound editor, and he went up to MGM Studios in Boreham Wood, uh, and I went up and assisted him on a film called The Biggest Bundle of Them All. Uh, while I was there, they were also shooting um, 2001 and started on The Prisoner. Um, one was intrigued by what one was hearing about the show, and I was interested to work on it, and Spencer Reeve, was working on the show, you say it was episode five. I'm sure it was, but the time scale I can't remember after so long. But Spencer asked me to uh, go on and assist him, uh, and I agreed to do so if I could uh, handle the music when they started recording the music, um, which I did. And uh, then spent, uh, oh, I think, about five weeks working with, with Spencer. Then the music business started up and uh, I essentially worked by myself and went through the recording of Bob Farnan's score and Wolf Joseph's score, but uh, wasn't, by the time Ron Grainer came in, um, Eric Marvel had taken over and he was, he was handling the whole thing. Attention, post 14. Attention, post 14. Yellow alert. Yellow alert. Yellow alert. Now leaving northern perimeter, number six. Repeat. Number six. Wilfred Joseph's second track for Real Fall was to be based on the well-known nursery rhyme, Boys and Girls Come Out to Play. However, Wilf's interpretation was, to say the least, rather loose and as a result it was rejected in favour of a more conventional arrangement already recorded by Robert Farnan. Here's how Wilfred adapted the tune. You'll probably recognise this track from elsewhere in the series. There's nothing to worry about. Tests are quite routine.
Group therapy counteracts obsessional guilt complexes, producing neurosis. For the penultimate reel of Arrival, Reel 5, Wilfred Josephs composed one short sting and one section of specifically synced incidental music. Both of these tracks were approved and appear in full on the finished episode. The final reel required Wilfred Josephs to compose three pieces of incidental music, none of which were used as originally intended. His first track is whilst number six is walking to the helicopter. According to the music cue sheets for the track, the scene between Virginia Maskell and Frederick Piper was originally planned to take place during this sequence. So that the music didn't fight the dialogue, Wilfred lowered the intensity of the track. However, due to some minor re-editing, the sequence was moved from its original position to just after number six had taken off in the helicopter, as seen in the finished episode. This is how it should have looked, with the music working with the action. Go and go now before it's too late. Its final track of incidental music for Arrival, although used in the finished episode, was not used quite as originally intended. The sequence was initially edited running some 14 seconds longer with several changes in the music to reflect the on-screen action, again making use of Wilfred's sub-themes. We have therefore recut the sequence according to the cue sheets, using similar shots as described in the sheets. We've also optically extended the duration of one shot in particular to match the original edit. I do hope that your stay had its lighter moments. Au revoir. You'll find him a tough nut to crack. I'll be the same. <laughs> 